They say that even death cannot stem the tides of time. They were great and were gone too soon. This is especially true for political figures. The influence of these people can be still felt today. Some of the figures included in this video broke taboos by defying the social norms of those times. More than often, they were assassinated for it, but their defiance of the norms sure made a mark and served as groundwork for other people to be themselves. Hi guys and welcome to another video of Historically. In today's video, we'll be using age progression techniques to see how famous political figures who died too young would look like if they were still alive today. On the left, there'll be a picture of how they look like when they died, and on the right, the progressed version of them older. First up, we have Benazir Bhutto, who was born in June 21st, 1953, and she was assassinated in December 27, 2007. She was the first woman to ever lead in a Muslim major country. She served as the 11th and the 13th Prime Minister of Pakistan. I do not have an iota of doubt that the people of Pakistan will do justice with me tomorrow. Eva Perron was born in May 7, 1919, and she passed away in July 26, 1952. Eva had a large portfolio of who she was, an actress, philanthropist, but most importantly she was a political activist who married the president of Argentina. She was revered by the lower economic classes. Harvey Milk was born in May 22, 1930, and was assassinated in November 27, 1978. He was an American politician and the first openly gay man to be elected to a public office. He was a visionary civil and human rights leader and made grounds and broke stereotypes by taking a public office. In this state, there is a law that says gay people cannot be married, but there is no law that says two human beings cannot love one another. Ahmad Shah Massoud was born in September 2nd, 1953, and he was assassinated on September 9th, 2001. He was an Afghan politician and military commander, a powerful guerrilla commander who fought against the Soviet occupation in the 80s. He was assassinated by two Arab men posing as journalists. Robert Kennedy was born on November 20, 1925, and he was assassinated on June 6, 1968. He was an American lawyer and politician who served as the 64th United States Attorney General. He was serving his term as a U.S. Senator from New York. He was an important figure in the fight against the organized crime and the mafia, and he also had hand in the U.S. foreign policy related to Cuba. Now, 
I'll wait for any comment on that until I return to New York. Yep. Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12, 1809, and he was assassinated on April 15, 1865. Abraham Lincoln was an American lawyer and statesman who served as the 16th President of the United States. There is not enough books, videos that can truly capture the greatness that Abraham Lincoln imposed in the fight against racism by abolishing slavery. John F. Kennedy, known as JFK, was born on May 29, 1917, and he was assassinated on November 22, 1963. He was an American politician who served as the 35th President of the United States. Kennedy was the youngest person to assume the presidency by election. He was an important figure in the Cuban Missile Crisis. That it's true that communism is an evil system, but it permits us to make economic progress. Jack Layton was born in July 18, 1950, and he passed away on August 22, 2011. He was a Canadian academic and politician who served as the leader of the New Democratic Party. He was a member of the House of Commons in Canada and led the official opposition in 2011. On that, particularly for small business by reducing their taxes. Uh, and, uh... Princess Diana was born on July 1, 1961, and she passed away on August 31, 1997. She was a member of the British royal family, being the first wife of Charles, Prince of Wales. She was best known for her charitable work. She was unconventional and different from the royal tradition. But I, I don't think I am. I'm a perfectionist with myself, but not necessarily with everybody else.